Hello everyone, welcome back. We're on part three of Rut's modded survival. So today what I was thinking we were going to do is go ahead and make our home up there in the island, the floating island that we had found at the beginning of last episode. Uh, but first what that means is we're going to have to go and collect some wood. So we're going to need some wood, some more building blocks, cobble, some deep slate, pretty much anything that we want to make our house out of. So that's what I'm going to do to start off with. Um, I like birch, so I'm going to actually go over here to where I found some of the birch trees and uh, get some of them and some other woods and other building blocks. Due to our tricky trial adventure that we had uh, last episode, we got a lot of diamond gear and tools, so this should make it a lot quicker. I felt like I had jumped into it a little bit too early, but we were able to get out with our lives. I keep forgetting there's wolves over here. I need to tame you, especially since our last pet had already died. This mod makes collecting wood so much easier and I appreciate it. I definitely want to keep a lot of saplings because I want to use the saplings to plant some more trees up there. I feel like birch is one of the better woods to have. Go ahead and comment down below what, what is your guys' favorite. I might as well go ahead and collect some oak long here. The sun's getting close to setting already. I'm going to try to wrap it up here. Definitely don't want to deal with too many mobs. Oh, oh, there is a hole right in the forest. Got to look out for that. The moonlight is showing through the trees now. I'd say mobs are about to start spawning. Very creepy and ominous vibe. Okay, back home. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. These guys are always taking my taking my bed. Excuse me. Mine. Gonna go ahead and sleep through the night and then we'll uh, make our way up there. On to day nine. I also need to figure out food situation. I can't be living off bread forever. I need to make a cow pen. The only thing I was thinking of that's gonna be a little, a little bit of a difficult situation is trying to figure out how to get mobs up there. But I could always come down for food and whatnot. Just build pens down here. Now that I've loaded in all the all the chunks up there from our escapade last episode, got all the waterfalls coming down. It's pretty cool. What I'm actually thinking about doing is building a bridge connecting these three floating islands over here. Because I feel like that would be really cool. But that will be a project for another day. And we have made it back. What I actually kind of want to do is actually make as many waterfalls as I can, so I might go ahead and just mine this out, let the water flow down. I need to find a good spot to put our main house, and I might put it right here. kind of want it near the middle of the island, though. What I might do is make the house around these two ponds here. That way we can have, like, the ponds inside the house. I think it would be a cool, like, entrance piece. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set shop up here and start building. Need a couple chests, that way I can throw stuff in there that I'm not using at the moment. Hey, how's it going? I'm sorry for invading your land, but uh, I got things I'm doing with it. I think what I want to do is actually preserve most of the cherry blossom trees that we have over here. Because I just really like the look of them. So I might just mainly make my house out of the birch wood. Because I feel like that white wood look, would look good with it. What I'm thinking is to design an outline around where I want the house to be. So we'll do one corner there. Then we'll do the other corner right over here. Oh, a zombie coming. Where were you at, buddy? You gave me a baked potato. I didn't even know they could drop baked potatoes. Now what I want to do is kind of flatten out the land. Oh, it's getting dark out. I forgot to bring a bed. It is going to get difficult. Oh, our first visitor's coming. And a creeper. Creeper's the last thing you want near your build. No, 
Oh boy. This is gonna get difficult. I should have brought bed. Oh, they're helping terraform the land for me. Because I was needing to mine that anyways. Okay, so I got the outline done now. So now what I'm gonna do is try to do the outline for the roof up top. Got the upper one done. I'm gonna try to smooth out the floor and put a single block down. I don't know which one yet. I might just stick with cobblestone. Day 10 already. Days are flying. Okay, the entire floor is stripped out. Now I'm going to place the cobblestone. So I decided to do cobblestone slabs. That way monsters can't spawn inside the house. What I'm probably going to do in order to not accidentally fall in is probably just put some glass over the top of it. That way I can still see it and still have the same effect, but not falling in. Alright, the entire floor is done. Now I just need to get some uh, glass. But first, I think I'm going to make this the entrance point right here. So I'm going to make a little door opening here. That's where I'm going to put my door. And bam, we got a door ready. Now I want to be able to see out and get a lot of light coming in and out, so what I'm going to do is do all three of these blocks all the way up, just glass. Do glass paint all the way around, I feel. And then when I do the roof, I'm going to let the trees go through the roof. I'm going to leave openings here for these hanging vines, that way it would be a cool way to actually get up. I could use it to get to the second story if I want to in the future. Got a built-in ladder. I'm going to leave this opening over here because I like the look of the cherry blossom coming through all of it, with all of its leaves. But now let me show you. So once I get the glass here I won't be able to fall in here, but it has a cool look and vibe. We can go up the vines here. And then we got two trees coming out. And what I'm thinking about doing is I can make like a mini tree house that connects these two. So yeah, it's going to be a cool, cool looking home. Okay, I got the outline for the roof done. I just need to put the roof down around the leaves of these two trees. And then also get some glass and fill it all in. And we'll be uh, about done with the house. And on to day 11. What I'm actually going to do before I start putting the roofing on is I'm going to go collect a bunch of sand. That way I can start getting the glass smelted. That way I can knock out two birds with one stone. Okay, I got the furnaces set up up here. I'm just going to need to go get some coal and some sand and I'll be ready. It's going to be a little bit of a trek trying to carry all of this. So I'm going to have to do multiple treks back and forth in order to drop off everything. I'm going to have to leave the cake. There's no way for me to pick it up. I don't have any silk touch. Alright, I got exactly three stacks of sand somehow. What are the chances? But I think that's going to be plenty for what we're trying to do. So now I'm going to start heading back to our base. And we are back to the new house. Looking good so far. I'm so excited to get living here. I'm gonna, I am gonna. already have a ton of ideas for stuff I'm going to do around the house as well. Get a path built up over here. A lot of things to do. So, first step, I'm going to have to smelt some glass using uh, using some sand. Alright, I got the coal in there. Now to split up all the sand. I want to do an even amount, that way it all smelts at the same time. Because we don't got all day to be doing this. 
There we go. Got all four furnaces smelting. Now to finish the second story roof. I'm all out of birchwood now. I've used so much birchwood. I thought I had enough. I don't even have any in here, so I'm going to have to chop down some more birch wood. Okay, I have about another stack of birch logs, so I think that should be enough to finish off the house. I didn't need too much more. I just wanted to make sure I have plenty for future. If you're going out to get wood, you might as well get a good amount. How far is our glass smelting? Uh, we're about halfway done. It's good enough to start with, though. All the vines coming in around the trees look so cool in here. I'm going to try to keep as many as I can. Because they're, they're going to be used as ladder systems, but also they look very cool. I don't think I need two vine systems right here next to each other. I think I might just keep this one since it goes all the way up. I'll be able to go all the way up to the top. So I think I'm just going to keep that one and then just black off this one because I just don't need it like that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I have the whole second story roof set up. So now I'm going to need to place glass on the first two stories. Glass is about done anyway, so that was good timing. Let me go ahead and place all the solid glass down here first, and then I'll make some glass pane for the wall the windows. And there we are. We can still see the cool effect of the waterfall here. And then with the continuity texture pack, makes it so that all the glass is all one big piece of glass. Very cool looking. Now let's go and do it to this one. No, I placed the glass wrong. I don't have a silk touch anything, so I can't get it. So that's going to hurt and break, but I got to do what I got to do. Now it's time for the wall windows. Make some glass pane. Okay, I have the entire first story done. Now we're going to see how far I get on the second story, but I'm only down to just over a stack of glass pane left. And that is all my glass. I'm going to need to get a couple more stacks of sand, it looks like, at least. On to day 12. Got, got a lot done already in the 12 days that... I've been playing. I'm definitely going to need to get some better forms of lighting, but torches are going to have to do for now. I really need to get to the nether at some point because I really think that glowstone is going to look good. I can put it down below the water. That way it lights up the water area. And then I can also use it inside the house for lighting as well. But this is going to have to do for now with the lighting. Oh, I went uh, to get some more sand, and it looks like there's a shipwreck over there, so I need to go check that out. Hopefully there's some good loot in there. I'm going to grab this sand first, and then we'll go over there and check that out. Alright, my shovel broke again. Got just over two, uh, two stacks of sand, so that should be good enough to finish the house. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check out the shipwreck now and see what, see what we got working on over here. Oh man, the, our island looks so cool. From over here I'm hoping that eventually once I get enough enough houses and whatnot built up over there you can just see it from down here but what do we have here we got a shipwreck that is underground and I don't have a shovel anymore so I need to make another one let's see there we go let's see what we got here hopefully you got some good loot Ooh, it's deep underground. I wonder if it still has chests. It's a big shipwreck. Oh, there is a chest. I went right to one. Uh, not really anything important or of use, honestly. What is this, dark oak? Spruce. Might be a nice building block to have. Might as well take the chest. Be 
come in handy later. Okay, I think I found, yes, I found another chest. Another buried treasure map. That'll come in handy. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. There's probably a third chest somewhere, but I don't even really want to continue trying to look for it. Although I think that third chest will be the one that has all of the good stuff. I might continue trying to find it. I'll be back in a second if I find it. Oh, I did find the other chest. I didn't think I'd be able to find it, but I actually did. Mm, not the best, but I'll go ahead and take it. I was searching for so long for this. And honestly, it didn't really deliver too much. And we are out of that shipwreck. Okay, cool deal. Time to go back home with our sand. All right, and we are back to the house. All right, time to get some more sand smelted, but first I need to clean out my inventory because I got too much stuff. I just have too, too much stuff. There we go, try to keep everything about as organized as I can. I'm going to have to move this chest inside soon, but for now it's going to have to do. Boom, 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 boom. All right, got that cooking. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put that chest and we're going to actually make another chest. I can have a double in there to start transferring some of this stuff over from this chest into the inside, and I'm going to put the beds down. Now, where do I want to put everything? I think I'm going to make the first floor more of like my cool looking floor. I'm going to kind of decorate it a lot, get some cool designs going on in here, and I'm going to make the second floor more of like a house style. Alright, so we're on to day 13. Uh, the bed looks kind of dumb, but I needed it in order to sleep through the night. So now that just means that I'm going to have some decorating that I can do. I think what I'm going to do is put I'm gonna put a double chest on both sides of the bed. And I think it's going to actually look kind of cool if I put slabs elevating everything. That way it's more of like an eye level. That way I'm not looking down for stuff. So I think this is actually going to work out how I want it to. Okay, so I got the wall going all the way over to here, and then these are gonna have the glass pane windows once I get all those smelted up. But for now, that's looking good how I wanted it. Okay, that wall is all done. Now, I believe, yeah. So I'm gonna go all the way across with this one. Did it again. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I have that mod where you can connect glass diagonally. Not using it at the moment. But it will be nice to know in the future. But there we go. Let's go clean that up. I'm going to try not to waste as much glass as possible. And boom. We're all done. That's all the glass. House is looking beautiful now. Not quite where I want it to be. I still need to collect some more blocks that I want. Lighting material and some decoration blocks. But it's definitely a good beginning. I did the long but easy part. Now it's going to be the short but difficult part where i got to organize everything. Not looking too bad. So the cherry blossom leaves that are over here actually adds like a cool effect. Um, so it makes it actually like have like bushes coming in here it almost looks like. It's a cool little design um, that I wasn't intentionally doing but it really helps add to the effect. So I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. Okay, so I have everything organized that I needed organized that's up here. I need to go get everything from my old house transferred over to here now. All right, I'm back here and it's actually morning time now, day 14, so we've made it to two weeks now. This is officially two weeks in Minecraft. Okay, I have officially moved to the new house. I think it looks great, honestly. It's a nice looking area, good looking house, got a lot of cherry blossom trees. Um, I use the birch wood, which I really like. Um, now it's time for the designing, but that is going to be in the next episode. I'm not going to be doing that now. But thank you all for watching. If you've made this far, 
please comment down below the next thing you want me to do in this series. I've been having a lot of fun looking at all the new biomes and everything to do is such a blast. New blocks, new features. Um, also subscribe if you are enjoying because I do enjoy making this content, but I want to make sure that everybody enjoys watching the content as well. Also like because that will allow for YouTube to further pr push out my videos to other viewers. That way more people can enjoy it. But for now, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.